parking uh, information. What you ask us to do. Um, the December work session is to try to put together a forecast for you know revenues uh, and expenses. You know, some of it uh, you know, are good estimates, but in terms of the numbers, I don't think you need to read the whole thing out. But from my perspective, and anybody else can just chime in. Let's talk about the growth areas that you see most importantly will affect our budget that we're preparing now and what we need to be most concerned about over the next two year period that, that we are going to be involved in as, as a commission again. I've actually filled in behind an EMS unit that came out of Ballard. Mm -hmm. They got on 341. Kind of, you kind of wonder where they're going. I followed them all the way out past the light, three, four, and, and, and they went right by the station, and that's, a, that's about a 10 minute ride out there. Yes. And, and I don't know where the heck they had to keep on going on the 341 because I turned it uh, 32. But uh, I've seen that a number of times, and so I understand what's going on. The water about availability, how far we got water going out in Northwest Glen? Mm -hmm. It gets about as far as the golf course on 99, and it comes up 341 before you get to 99. And uh, there's a, a, a million seven fifty sitting in, the, in their budget right now to extend the water lines all the way up 99 and run a circle through the green swamp area. And then, <coughs> I think when we're talking about the budget and we're talking about the growth, I think we need to be keenly aware of the comments by Don Matthews yesterday. Um, and I, I have I've heard this for two and a half years. Your demographic, your median income doesn't support our business model. And this is the elephant in the room. A dollars JR's been talking about it for a long time, but a $28,800 median income won't work. It just will not work. And I think that in, in all our deliberations, we need to be conscious of the fact that something's got to happen. And, and I think what really has, has put us in the position that we're in right now is that for the last seven or eight years, there hasn't been any growth. There hasn't been any increase for the most part in the budget. We have balanced the budget basically every year on the back of the fund balance. <coughs> and that's one thing we just can't continue to do. Our fund balance now is about $12 million or something like that. Certainly we can balance the budget this year once again on the back of the fund balance. But how many years can we continue to do that? That's the thing about it, you know. We have put off making any what I would like to say hard decisions for the last seven or eight, seven, eight years because of the, of the position we've been in and justifiably so. But now is the time when this decision is going to have to make some, this commission, excuse me, is going to have to make some tough decisions. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking here under, under a committee and it says fiscal year 15 merit increases full year $1,014,438. Let me explain myself, please. Okay. So the million dollars up top is a full year because you did implement merit increase. For FY15. Okay. So the impact on FY16 is for a full year. Start. Could we ask, answer this question from all the commissioners? I guess the first question is the primary question is is the commission in agreement as far as to move forward <coughs> with the spot? The second question is when do we propose to do it? I mean, are we, are we looking to do it this year? And if we are, I for one can't support it because we're doing it in an off election year. The only elections we have in 15 are the now North and South Ward elections. For the city of so we don't have. And that's always been a criticism of the commission as far as the We try to do it in an off year so that 
you know, we don't have the voter participation. And also, it, it costs more money to do it in an off year. If we do it in 16, then we're going to be butting heads with the Board of Education, who has already made public the fact that they're going to put out another East Wash. So, I Are guess we the well, they told me they talked about their board meeting. I'm pretty sure that's what they told me. So, I guess that's my question. First, is there support from the Board of Commissioners to move forward? And second, when are we going to do it? I mean, the way it looks, there may not, we may not have any kind of a, a time frame when it's realistic to do this. Does, ever, does everybody understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So, well, it may be 2018. That's, what I'm, that's what I'm saying. It may be 17 or 18. Well, if you don't want to do it in the off-year election. Yeah, and I, could, I can't support doing an off-year election. Yeah. I really can't. Because I, I, I don't need them. I want a record now. No, because we're spending money. For it. Well, it's not, only, it's not only the money, Mike, but it's the voter participation. Yeah. You're just not going to get people to turn out in an off-election year, especially when there's no elections in the county. But, but I do believe that it's a, it's a, it's a huge concern. Uh, I don't think it helps us or the school board if both of us are going in and asking for these boss in the same year. And I know they're going to ask. I, I, I know they're going to ask for one next year. The school board is. They're, they're, they're so going, they're going for it. So I'll throw it out. <laughs> so. Nobody's catching. I share your I share your same concerns. Look, let's just go down the, the, the line here. Um, JR, and regardless of the, regardless of whether we look at splots or not, for today's purpose, I don't really care because these are still projects that the staff has asked us to consider. How we fund them is a whole different ballgame. The day is right. I mean, the only, only money we're using right now is the only. So the, the county, I guess, is handy enough a 30% match on that, which is $300,000 a year. That's really not enough to maintain 450 <laughs> miles of the asphalt road you have in the county. In addition, some of our county roads, this resurfacing money also needs to, we need to widen the roads a little bit to put a shoulder on some of these roads to make them a little safer. A one or two foot shoulder on a county road on Harry Driggers, for example, make that road a lot safer. This is this is a little bit of asphalt outside the fog line, the white line. Uh, Alan's exactly right. Once the road starts alligator cracking, uh, then you start getting into the base issues. And that's the problem we have in this one picture that, uh, on uh, Old Chestnut Road there. <laughs> Roads that are going to be that are nearing their design failure, you know, as we're looking at Federica, it gets a lot of traffic on the island. South of Sea uh, uh, Island Road, that's going to need to be resurfaced in the next few years. Old uh, Denry Road in the next few years. Those roads are, are starting to wear out where their, their base is going to start wearing. So uh, it's, it's just one of those investment things that uh, you actually have very good county roads right now. And uh, with the major arteries and the uh, collector roads, uh, but this will help uh, address those issues, and also uh, I think would address the subdivision roads. You have quite a few subdivision roads that haven't been touched since the subdivision was made, and so I mean, you got a few subdivisions that are 20 and 30 years old, and now the roads have never had any asphalt on. General, if you want, I, I don't even know what you. <laughs> Want these other two? You you want to talk about these other two? I mean, you you can probably. Got it. Did you propose those? Yep. The only thing I would say about uh, East Apron uh, and future look at that is with the AIP funds that we need to go after, it may be kind of a moot point to, to worry too much about a squash down the road with with AIP funds. The only thing you talk about at that point is matching funds, which would be substantially lower. So at this point, are we at ten percent now? Is it, huh? Are we at ten percent matching funds? Well, it's ten percent at this point. Yeah. But I mean, I mean, right now you've got a project on the our plate's going to be eighteen months, two years to get done, and then they, hopefully by that point we'll start being able to apply for the AIP funds and see if draw in that way. So you know, I mean, it's not a bad idea for on, on the airport expansion, but actually, we're not to worry about it at this point. Well, yeah, yeah. I, I, he's, 
exactly right. We, we certainly don't know. Yes. We've got, um, there's a list here of capital projects that you guys can read through and look at. What I'd like to ask, because um, we do need to get into these policy updates and changes and additions, and that's obviously not going to happen today. <coughs> Are y'all amenable to doing a two-hour work session in the next three weeks on a Thursday afternoon when we normally don't meet or something like that? And let's get into these policy updates, changes, and additions. Um, we're going to talk about boards and commissions and things that I know. Um, but that's all right with everybody. We'll schedule. That would be on the 12th. We can get some overtime for it. Yeah, Tanya, Tanya well, would like to see your time card. The 12th of February? Time and a half. The 12th of February? You said the next three weeks on the first day you don't want to meet. Well, we have a finance committee meeting at 10 o'clock. Then we, we, have have lunch and we, can we have something. We have something. We can work that in. We've got personnel. We've got personnel committee meeting. So I guess after the personnel committee meeting, we can immediately fall into the... I mean, I'm a meeting, but I mean, you know, I kind of got Thursdays blocked out because that's usually <coughs> Booker's got. Well, are you still off on Thursdays? Yeah, I got a, a meeting at five thirty. So the only the only question I would have, Mr. Chairman, is with the list of things that we have on here, is it something that the Commission feels like we can accomplish in two hours? Well, we got to start. <laughs> Does that mean we get through the first one? And then well, that's the first meeting, Richard. <laughs> Let me see. I'm going to ask. I'm going to ask Mr. Howard's um, sometime in early, sometime in the first couple of weeks of February, to check all the meeting schedules, and if there's a, a block of time when we can all get together, and we can bring these other issues and, and kind of get through those. And, and get an email out to everybody for that. I just picked Thursday because I know people have got Thursdays blocked out for the most part. We, 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 can, we can do whatever. If we can.